Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Today, it is the start of a new adventure, a new video here for you in the 44 uh, square foot dream shop. Yes, it's a ginormous mess in here. But um, what I'm going to be doing in the next video here, well in this video, is making a commutator. And I'm doing it in a very unique way that I think is actually probably the easiest way to make a commutator for what I'm trying to do. So uh, the project um, will be revealed, I guess, in a little while. But right now I'm just making parts for it. And uh, so that is what I'm going to show you today. So we are going to make a commutator. Really this video is a generic video for how to make a commutator. Now, what I want to do, some of you will recognize this, but what I want to do is make a commutator that looks like that. So this is a copper ring for a brush. There's one on the other side. And then these are the commutator sections, but what they are is they're solid brass rods, okay? So I have 5 16 and 1 8 inch brass rods. And I'm going to be making this piece, drilling these holes, and putting in the rods and then machining them down. So I have here some MDF. I've decided to use MDF because I know it machines well. I like this stuff. It's going to be a mess, but I really like the way this machines. So I put a, I glued a template on here because I don't have a good way of indexing this. And so it's going to be sort of crude, but this is a first version to make sure this idea is going to apply well. Here is some um, half, oh, what are these? One and a half inch pipe connectors for soft pipe. And then I have this rod. Um, so the reason I got this rod is because I want to be able to clamp the commutator into the lathe. And then I have a half inch shaft here and I have to get some bearings for the uh, the rotor part, which you'll see in another video. But this video is about this one particular thing. So I want to show you where I'm starting. And I may shoot a few bits and pieces here um, along the way, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> but the idea here is that the commutator, okay, I'm going to machine this blank so it's flush and then I'm going to drill all the holes and then I'm going to machine this insert but I'm going to machine it further than what the brass is so the idea is to machine the brass halfway down and that'll give me the width of the uh, conductor that I want. There's a short one and a, and a fat one. So what I want to do is machine that down then put the rods in and I'm going to epoxy the rods in. So I'm going to machine down past the back end of this so that whenever I cut it again the second time they're going to be epoxy filled in there. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to have the brush running against the wood uh, but I think using some five minute epoxy it should work as long as it doesn't get hot. If it gets hot it might try to melt but if it doesn't uh, then we'll be good. If you guys know of a of, a, of an epoxy that's non-conductive that would hold up to heat better, let me know. JB Weld, I'm not sure if it's conductive, but it would probably work better. But anyway, I have a box of brushes somewhere floating around here. But that's the idea. Here's where I'm starting. Um, I'm actually going to be putting this through the center after I cut down the outside. And as you can see, I have a template stuck in my lathe, and it is like literally like I'm gonna have a really hard time machining this on this particular lathe however I think it's still achievable it's actually hitting <laughs> um, so yeah that is the beginning of this project and I wanted to share you share with you where I'm starting it so yeah let's get started You like that? Yeah. Here, let's try to uh, let's try to put it in here. Want to? Yes. What are you doing? Building. 
awesome things. That'll work, right? shall use the vacuum. That is messy. Mmm. Ready? Here we go. Well, you know what? I didn't glue it to the shaft yet.
Well, yes, it's the same day. Actually, it's not. It's almost 1 o'clock the next day in the morning, but hey, that is beautiful. So, I'm going to turn the edges down real quick and get them the same weight so they're balanced. They're like perfectly cut. I'm surprised I got them that good. Hand cut them on the saw earlier, as you saw. Uh, yeah, and then I'm just going to epoxy these in really, really good. I was going to glue them in as I pushed them in, but they're so tight. They ain't going anywhere. Then I'm going to epoxy them, coat the whole thing, and then we'll turn it back down, and the epoxy is where the brush will be writing on. Hopefully none of those fly out, because they'll be behind it, you know, like on the edge, so you can't get the epoxy to come out. Whew, that is a beautiful piece, let me tell you. All right, let's finish it. Oh my goodness, it is uh, 1.39 in the morning, 12.24.2017, and I have epoxied, got an epoxy mess there and one over there. I've filled in everything with epoxy, so I cut the center down past, right, this was the point, past what the rods are, halfway, because halfway is basically the width of the commutator connection that I want and uh, this way we got exactly half so when I machine this back down I believe we got that all deep enough when I machine this down I'm going to be cutting halfway into the rods right however the purpose is is I want the brush to be running on the epoxy because uh, it's a better material than the wood for the brush to be running on. Hopefully that works. I mean, if I had a better epoxy, I would have used it. But I think this epoxy will be fine. And as long as it hardens pretty hard, it should be fine. Um, JB Weld or something might be conductive, I don't know. So, yep, now we let it sit. I may... Uh, Oh, it looks okay. I was going to say maybe fill in a spot or two, but actually it looks fine. As long as it's, like I said, halfway down for the small one, and it's way down there. So, I did go ahead and machine the sides, as you saw, just to get it flush. Kind of balance it just a tiny bit. Yep. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. and rough. All right, so I'm trying to look at the camera and the scope, so this may not work real well, but let's give it a go. Here we go. There we go, see that? Okay, so uh, yeah, using the micro TIG welder here, if you didn't see that in another video, you'll see it eventually. I don't know when we're, what I'm doing, I have so many videos to post, but uh, 
Oh, I think I missed. No, oh, my God. I don't know. I think I got them all. Well, maybe I got a recount. Maybe I did one on the wrong side. But anyway, uh, I think I did. Anyway, here is the uh, the commutator. So I just micro TIG welded those flat wires on there. And I think I got one too many on one side. I just realized that. But uh, let's see if we can get a close up shot of those welds. They're not too bad. The brass to copper is really difficult because it's a different composition of metal. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll fix that one and then we'll be in business. Alright, so here's our brief update with this commutator. The brass that is the small ones is made out of some really bad brass and it is just, it's not good. Had some very difficult time getting this stuff to stick. And you can see we, uh, we used paper here and tried to put it over there so we didn't get too much carbon on the the wood so we're gonna just lightly scrape all that back off and try to make sure there's no carbon connection there and then we're gonna actually use this we found this in our little secret laboratory we're gonna use some silver epoxy let me put some on here Richard did just to test it and so, uh, that'll make some good conductivity if we didn't get amazing conductivity the meter says it's okay but we want to double check that and then we're gonna epoxy all that just to verify she don't go flying off Oh, the cap is on, boys and girls. All right, this is your your update. It is almost midnight on the 29th, and uh, me and Richard have achieved pretty well. What is a replicate? Look at that <laughs> smile. I, I've got a pretty big smile on myself. Yeah. And uh, our brush, our brush, uh, our brush holder system is not. Amazing. Too robust. <laughs> no. So we're we're just doing what we I mean, we have better options here, but this is what we want to try. I actually truly believe a, a crappy brush system is better because we want it to arc and spark a little bit. Um I'm trying to stay away from this because I don't want the magnet to get on there, but I'm just gonna give it a little spin here. And we can see uh you can see how we got the brushes on there. Commutator, I have uh, completely epoxied up. We gotta rotate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I gotta let it sit so I don't want it to go backwards. Um, so there's a brush on the inside, a brush on the outside. Those are positive and negative. They run over to the terminal leads here, which will be going to the battery bank that's here. Um, playing around with low voltage first, of course, and uh, moving up from there. But um, what I do want to show you is if we get this thing spinning. You can actually see the coil and the magnet interaction by the sparks generated. I'm not even seeing in the camera. I don't know, but my uh, <laughs> the the magnet was flipping things around on my camera, so I'm gonna stay back because that is a serious magnet. Okay. Anyway, this is your update. We'll see you in a little while. What's up, everybody? So it's like many weeks later from the video that I was editing right now, and I realized I never really finished that video because there was so much going on. So here's the uh, finished commutator. As you can see, it's been epoxy all the way around there. Um, I've actually lightly uh, sanded these things a few times and cleaned off the carbon. Um, so far, I've been using this for about two weeks worth of experimentations. See the epoxy on the side to hold the wires. And um, there is occasionally some carbon buildup, so I may actually end up making some brass or copper brushes um, instead of the carbon ones so that we don't get carbon buildup right in the, um, in the uh, epoxy. So the epoxy will melt if you get some big arc flashes because we're using pretty high voltages and they sustain some pretty good arc sometimes and accidents happen, so the epoxy um, although really hard as a rock does melt under heat, so you just have to be real careful. But in the end, was this a good commu commutator design? Yeah, actually it was. Um, it's a bit difficult to make all of the individual segments like I was trying to make them, but so far it's worked really well. Um, I actually 3D printed some, uh, some better brush holders here um, and made some different style brushes and did lots of other things. Now that we have a tiny bit more uh, time, the magnet sitting here without the uh, commutator on there. 
the brushes that I had that were just floating on here actually work really well on the outside copper commutator sections there. So if uh, if you may be asking me like why didn't we just solder to the brass? Um, actually, most of that reason was because I epoxied this before I put the wires on, and I should have soldered the wires to the brass and then put the epoxy in because if you would try to solder to this brass then you'd melt the epoxy and that would be very bad um, so anyway um, I can always coat this thing with new epoxy after I clean it and scrub it really good and then remachine it to get back down to the surface if, uh, if all else fails but actually we might be making a totally different commutator design this is a original replica of what Newman describes in his book and so that's what we started with and we'll be moving in circles from there um, there'll be lots of updates I'm in a totally different space now and there'll be lots of updates of what's going on where we are what's like it's just it's been crazy we've been running in circles and I'm finally um, at the place that I'm gonna be at for a while so this is the this is the the temporary um, the temporary shop the final shop will actually be in uh, another different space. Ha, imagine that. All right. God bless. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts were on this commutator. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. All right. Read the Bible more. Bye.